fingers crossed on this one. It's nothing, it's just shrimps and fish, isn't it? No whales there. Nothing there. Let's move off somewhere else. Okay. Nigel. Oh, we've got something there. Oh, that is spooky. It's definitely yeah, a whale. Definitely. And maybe we found the Cynosaurus. still in the vicinity but where is it the trouble is sound travels much farther and faster in water than in air and he could be miles away so what we need to do is try to entice him to us that sound that eerie sound that you're hearing that's what we recorded earlier that's his calls but we're playing them right out into the ocean with a massive speaker and hopefully he'll think there's another whale in his territory and come towards us Scientists have tried this with modern whales with mixed success, but it was the best hope we had of bringing in a Bacillosaurus. Getting louder, as loud as it's ever been. I had no idea what I'd find. So this is exciting. It could come from anywhere beneath me, behind me. So I'm actually using the boat as a shield. This big shape here, it's as though there's a really massive super predator around so they won't come in too close. They haven't got as big a brain as the modern whales. They're not such social animals. So they may treat a person as prey. Wow! Wow! And there it was, the long streamlined shape. This had to be Bacillosaurus. But it was nothing like the sea serpent of early drawings. It was a whale, but unlike any I'd seen before. It didn't have blubber. In this warm water, it didn't need it. It looked for all the world like a whale on diet pills. And look at this thing. Compare it with the boat, that gives a great idea of scale. And he's over half the length of this 80-foot boat, 50 feet or so. And this really is a fearsome predator. I'm glad I'm next to the boat. I wouldn't fancy being in open water with this one. I wish the sound technician, I wish he'd turn this off. It's really starting to distress the whale, he's coming in close. 